I rise tonight to speak on the passing of a beloved union and labour comrade, George Wetherill, who died on Sunday, the 23rd of January 2021, at the age of 84. Uh, the South Australian trade union movement and the Labor family have lost a great union leader and a friend, a man who represented our party in the Legislative Council and father of our former Premier Jay Wetherill. George was born in Northern England in the late 1930s and he grew up in the shadows of the Great Depression uh, and endured the trauma of World War II. The experiences of poverty and inequality were harsh to an extent difficult to comprehend today, and they forged the values that guided George and many others through their lives. George was relentlessly optimistic, some might say despite the challenges he faced. I suspect it was perhaps because of them. He was from a working family from Hartlepool in northern England, one of ten. They lived through the bombing raids and he lost his father young. Perhaps that hardship generated in him, rather than uh, pessimism, that relentless optimism accompanied by both shrewdness and pragmatism. After arriving in Australia in 1960, it did not take long for George to establish himself as a leader in the trade union movement. Uh, and in fact, at, the, at one of the eulogies, it was recounted the story that he was elected a delegate despite not actually being there, just because he was the pommy bloke who must know something about trade unions. So, as I said, he was elected a shop steward at the South Australian ENWS Engineering Water Supply Department for the Australian Government Workers Association, known as the AGWA. And over the next quarter of a century, he won elections to offices, various offices within the union. In doing so, he played a critical role in setting the political direction of that union and establishing a political legacy that continues to this day. When George became involved in the AGWA, it was in control by the right, and it was a union that was regarded as too passive to deliver to its own members. George became a key player, supporting left allies to take control on the, of the union. The response from the right at the time was brutal. And George garnered extraordinary respect amongst comrades and members by staring down threats of violence and by, for his capacity to bring others with him. The eventual victory of the left paved the, in that, within that union paved the way for the development of a union that would become and remains one of the most important agents for progressive change within South Australian politics. The change in leadership and philosophy in the AGWA brought about through uh, the actions of many, including George, smoothed the way for a merger with the M Miscellaneous Workers Union, Workers Union, the MISOs, the predecessor of what is known as the United Workers Union. And this amalgamation cemented its place as one of the most important agents of progressive change in our state, a position it has held ever since. And it has provided a base of support to elect progressive candidates like Mark Butler, Jay Wetherill and me into Parliament. Before my own generation, George also gathered support to win a fiercely contested ballot and filled a vacancy in the Legislative Council, where he served from 1986 until 2000. George Wetherill always knew who he was and always remembered where he came from in every aspect of his life, including his work in the parliament. He had a powerful sense of justice and he was moved to correct injustice wherever he found it. He was a man of great courage and seamlessly, seemingly boundless optimism. Perhaps he was the happy warrior poetry says we should all wish to be, an unflinching defender of the rights of working people and their families. And he was also a first-class strategist whose struggles helped build a multi-generational legacy for progressive politics in South Australia. I want to place on record my sincerest sympathy uh, to his family and friends, his wife, Joy, uh, uh, his children, uh, Jay, Dana and Lee, uh, their partners uh, and his grandchildren. And I particularly want to place on record my acknowledgement uh, of uh, how hard this must be for his son, particularly Jay Wetherill, uh, who, for whom George uh, was such an important figure, uh, and to say to Jay and to his family uh, that we uh, are with you in this loss. Uh, and that George's legacy continues to this day.